One of the primary reasons I created and continue to maintain this electric football channel is a strong desire to help new and or prospective electric football coaches avoid making the same mistakes I've made along the way. And one of the biggest mistakes uh, that I've made is uh, heeding the advice of bad actors uh, in the uh, upper echelons uh, of the hobby. And um, I see this happen all the time to, to curious and or new uh, electric football players on the Facebook groups where they'll... Uh, They'll come in and ask a simple question about bases or where to, the best place to put the motor on a, a game board might be. And uh, the, uh, some of the elitists and opportunists uh, pounce on these individuals with, uh, you know, advising them to go out and purchase the most expensive equipment on the market. Uh, that's usually motivated by a, a skin in the game, you know. They're usually the individuals producing this stuff or... Um, they're in a consortium agreement with others to, to shield their products back and forth for them. Now, they'll tell you it's, it's out of goodwill and for love of the electric football hobby, but uh, don't be deceived and, uh, you know, tread lightly. It is a landmine. Not everyone uh, in the electric football hobby is a bad actor, but they exist, as is the case with any hobby, and, and they're not there to help you. They're there to help themselves. Uh, try to avoid the so-called experts. Uh, it's my opinion after uh, dipping my toes in these waters for two and a half years that there's no such thing as experts in electric football. We're all winging it. We're all improvising. We're all doing what we have to do to try to enjoy a deeply flawed 70-year-old uh, tabletop board game. Um, but there's really nothing more discouraging to a new player when one of these elitists uh, pounces on them and, tells, and gives them a narrow uh, corridor of how to play the game and what equipment to use. And if they deviate from that path, they're doing it wrong. And, um, you know, an attempt to, pose, to impose their narrow-minded will on a new player who may not know better and, and, and who may uh, uh, embrace such poor advice. Um, electric football is an incredibly flexible game um, with hundreds of different rule sets out there. There's no one correct rule set. Um, there's no one correct brand of figure to use. Uh, there's no one correct base to use. Uh, I can recommend bases for new players, but they're not the be-all and end-all. But the big thing, the big takeaway, is to be on the lookout for individuals who have skin in the game and who are uh, trying to sell you something, you know, be it through themselves or through a proxy, and um, who care far less about whether you're enjoying yourself and whether you can afford what they're selling as they care about the money in your wallet. And you're going to find this behavior does not uh, stop as you get more and more experience uh, with electric football. It still happens to me. Uh, this is a, a comment that was uh, posted on a video I uploaded four months ago. Um, uh, sort of late to the party here. Uh, but this, Now, I'm not going to read this. You can feel free to pause it and read it. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you who sent this because it wouldn't do any good. It's a prominent member of the electric football community, and uh, it's a prime example of, of of why I have no strong desire to be a part of the electric football community at large anymore. Uh, now, this is not the rule. This is an exception, but there are tons of such ex exceptions out there. And, um, you know, even in this scathing critique, it's, it's, it's all just a ruse to uh, promote uh, their own electric football YouTube channel, which, you know, the way I see that, there's plenty of room on YouTube for everyone. The more electric football channels, the better. This guy clearly hates the existence of my channel, but uh, I don't see I don't see it that way at all. But he also betrays the the real reason for his animosity, and it's because he feels threatened by the existence of cardboard and paper bases that don't require tweaking, and uh, that don't cost an arm and a leg, and that uh, don't have to go through him for approval in order to exist in 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 the grand scheme of things that's what it's all about uh these are the type of folks that new players really really uh, want to uh uh try to avoid unfortunately these type of individuals impose themselves as the experts of electric football and again uh, i strongly feel like there's no such thing as experts in electric football whatsoever um just, you know, try to keep in mind, as in the case with any community in any society, uh, there are individuals who are looking out for themselves rather than others. And um, some, you know, clear red flags is someone that claims to be an expert uh, or that clearly has a, a very, very high opinion of themselves. 
Uh, other red flags, of course, uh, would be someone who uh, uh, imposes unrelated advice onto you when you ask a specific question, they veer off in another direction, and then send you a leak to a website for you to pay premium prices for items you never ask for. Uh, those individuals uh, pounce on new players on social media uh, all the time. And when confronted by that behavior, they will attempt to gaslight you and tell you that uh, this, is, uh, this is all very community-driven and we're all one big happy family. That's Unfortunately, uh, that's not true. Electric football is actually really, really cutthroat and at, the, uh, at the tournament levels, and not so much the players themselves, but the, uh, the tournament organizers and the, uh, the, uh, the gatekeeping on social media. And when someone speaks up about the extortionate price of electric football today, uh, they're, they're quickly shut down, uh, and we've seen that happen, you know, uh, to me several times. You can't rock the boat in electric football, despite the demonstrable fact that the boat is sinking. And um, one of the, the biggest reasons it's sinking is because of the, uh, the elitism, and the gatekeeping, and the gaslighting, and the, um, well, the condescending attitudes of a lot of the so-called movers and shakers in the upper echelons of the, uh, of the hobby, who unfortunately dictate not only the, uh, uh, the direction of the hobby, which is nowhere, uh, but also the prices of the merchandise and um, by their actions, um, the size of the community, which just continues to shrink. Now, all that said, they are uh, a small number of individuals at large in what remains of the electric football community. Most electric football players are great, but most electric football players don't pretend to be experts and authorities and try to impose their will, their narrow-minded uh, wills and, and viewpoints on others. And, um, you know, if you can find those individuals, you'll be all right. It's like what Mr. Rogers used to say, uh, look for the helpers. Um, and unfortunately, not everyone in electric football are helpers. Uh, um, some put on the, pre the pretense of being helpers, but uh, they're just, uh, uh, they're in it for other reasons. And um, sometimes those reasons are completely unfathomable, at least to me. I guess what I'm trying to say here to any new and or prospective electric football player is to be very, very careful whose advice you heed. And that applies to me as well. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert on anything, and as I state time and time again in my videos, your mileage may vary. But it's all something to think about, and uh, good luck to you, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.